in today's video I am going to be ranking, rating and reviewing every single map in CSGO with this tier list. Very nice. Now I'm doing this because uh, I am one of the few people that can with confidence say that they have played every single map ever released in CS during the time it was active in game. That's not really a flex, that's just sad because I've been playing the same game since 2012, which is like 10 years now. Other people my age are having kids and starting families and I'm reviewing pixels. Now, I've listed every single map ever in CS here. I think it's 75 in total and I even put a little name on them as well if you are not sure what map I'm talking about. Just adding these texts took literally like two hours or something. <laughs> now, our list goes from god tier all the way down to trash and I'll be reviewing most of these based on my own play of the that map, what I remember, if it's a memorable map, if it plays well, if it's designed well and looks good, and of course just me if I like it. Starting off we have Abbey, this is a relatively recent map, I remember uh, seeing it when it came out and making a video on it and what, being like whoa that's nice, but I never really played it much because the first few times I played it, it was pretty bad. Also I'm not sure if you can hear that, but my neighbors are drilling, it's like me and your mom, you know, haha <laughs> we're uh, drilling. <laughs> Next up, we've got Agency. Now, this is still queuable today. However, I much preferred how it was and uh, how it was played back in the day. And a little more cat. I'll still put it as good because I had a lot of fun with it back in the day this would easily qualify for great but now the way it's played it's basically only agency globals giga try harding and it takes the fun out of it still a great map <laughs> after that we have Ali this is also a good map I remember me and Hayes had a lot of fun with this here fountain you'd smoke it you'd take over the site it was a great map back in the day but uh, it wasn't it wasn't great it was it was good <laughs> After that we have Ancient, now either you love it or you hate it, there's not really any in between, I'd say I love it more than I hate it, it's pretty decent, it's uh, the one thing I hate about it though is the fact that it's it's all just green, It green. Next Anubis, also a fairly recent map, this one however I would say is bad, I have one memory of playing this map, I remember I was like where the fuck are the sides, what's even happening, where am I, and there was a spin botter in the other team, so yeah Anubis not good. Next up, Apollo. Also a recent map, I'd say this is bad, but the easter eggs on the map were very nice and the design was very good, just I didn't like playing on it. After that, Assault. Now, I'll put this one at great. Sadly, you can't queue it anymore in competitive and you haven't been able to for years, many years, but back in the day, this was really fun to play. I remember as T, you would spawn inside the warehouse, you'd uh, auto sniper or negev through the walls, and it was just really, really good map. After that, Austria. This isn't really a new map. I think it was released in 2016 or so. But uh, I remember we played a lot of Austria when it was new. I'll put this one as good because I have a lot of fond memories from it. After that, Aztec. Also a good map. It's uh, maybe a bit shit now because, I mean, you haven't been able to play it for years. I haven't played it for years. I'm basing this on memory. But uh, from what I remember, that's a lot of fun. After that, we have back alley i don't remember too much about this because i didn't play it all that much but from what i remember it was pretty bad after that basalt this is a new map sadly they removed it now but nonetheless that was, it was a good map i remember playing it a lot and having a lot of fun with it even though it was a fairly simple map also it's iceland i mean how can you not love iceland after that we have bazaar also one of these maps that kind of slid under the radar i'll have to put this one as bad because i didn't play Played all that much, but from what I remember, it's kinda shit. Next we have Biome. Now, this was a very visually good looking map, but it didn't play all that good. I think I'll put it at decent. It was just, no, I'll put it at bad. It was just like meh, you know? You don't really remember it. Next up, Black Gold. This was a lot of fun. I'd put it between decent and good. I'll put it at good just because it's so memorable. A very, very uh, memorable map for sure. And from what I remember, I liked it a lot. <coughs> oh. Next up, Breach. This map was shit, but it had one redeeming quality, and that was the slide in CT spawn. But other than that, I'd put it at bad. 
bad. Then we have Cash. This is the first good tier map, in my opinion. This is one of my absolute go-tos whenever I'm gonna play. I usually play Dust, Mirage, and Cash, because those three are my favorite maps to queue right now, and have been for many months. After that, we have Canals. Visually, a very good-looking map. Play-wise, it was decent. It wasn't crazy, it was just decent. Next, we have Castle. Don't remember too much. What I remember is it looked good, but it played shit. Just like me. Ah ha ha. Yeet. Then we have Chinatown. Now, this is a map many of you guys are probably not gonna remember. Many of you guys have probably never even heard or played this map. But this map, I think, was from Bravo, Operation Bravo, or Operation Payback. One of the two. This map was decent. I used to play a lot of uh, Deathmatch and War Games on it. And it was decent. Pretty cool map. After that, we have Chlorine. Uh, this is a bad map. I don't need to say anything more. After that, we've got Climb. Now, this is still queuable today. However, you shouldn't do it. This is definitely I don't want to play because whenever I queue this, like, it's not trash. I wouldn't abandon if I got this map. I would just not have fun and I would just never queue it. It looks good, though. After that, we've got Coast. This is one of those maps that I also didn't play too much, but when I did, it was just not very good. After that, we've got Cobblestone. Also, I would say a god tier map. There was many different versions of Cobblestone because they changed the map so much. They opened up some areas, they closed some areas off, but in its entirety, this is one of the maps that I've had the most fun with, for sure. Bring, bring, oh, javla. Bring back Cobblestone, CS, please. Next up, we've got Cruise. I remember playing this a lot with friends. I'll put it at good. Sadly, the most memorable memory that I have of Cruise is a uh, skin freak because he was caught I'm pretty sure he faked a knife unboxing or something and uh, he made his like apology thing video <laughs> on the cruise and I was like what the fuck are you doing man after that we've got downtown this is a good map but if they brought it back now it probably would be decent or bad but back in the day when this was released this was good I love the long road the tight corners and it's a hostage map that's very cool I like hostage maps next up dust 2 and dust. Now, now both of these two maps, uh, either you love it or you hate it. I'm one of those people. I absolutely love it. Dust 2, gold tier map, and dust 1, not short dust, which you can play now, but old dust, full 5v5 competitive, is great. Now, these two maps, I had so much fun with dust 2 still. Every time I stream CS, I play dust. I start my stream off by playing dust 2, and this is the most iconic map in any video game ever. Ever, I think. This has been replicated countless times in other video games, and Dust 1 is just a great map. After that, we've got Empire. I remember I played this once, I hated it, and I didn't play it ever again. After that, we've got Engage, the car factory. Uh, this is just, I don't want to play it. It's a, it's a bad map. I don't like it. After that, we've got Fuckade. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't remember this map too fondly. It's pretty bad. After that, Favela! Carau, you filo de poo! This map is great. Set in Brazil, absolutely bussing map. I'll say it's good. I remember uh, vegetation and the long. It was just a very good map. Next up, we've got Grind. Didn't play it too much because I didn't like it. However, I recorded a lot of footage for my Talon Blue Gem showcase on this map. But it's just not very good to play. Givailor, uh, weird fucking name. Didn't like it. But I remember when it released, I was like, damn, this map looks very good. But it sucks. Next up, Inferno. Either you love it or you hate it. I'm kinda in between. Uh, I don't hate it, but I'm just not very good at it. I'll put it at great. If I was good at the map myself and I knew smokes, I knew how to play it, then it would probably be god tier. After this, Insertion 2 and Insertion 1. Both of these two maps are very weird in the sense that they don't play like a regular CS map. Both of these utilize the, the, the fog of war, meaning that you can only see up to a certain distance in CS, then it's a fog, and that's how you kind of play this map. You play with a fog, and as soon as you see someone step out of the fog, you shoot them. You know, so it's not the regular CSGO Ferrari peak, Muammar Gaddafi one peak on long, one tap headshot and you win the round. No, this is a much slower map, hostage map, and a completely different way to play CS. Now, I think both of these deserve gold tier, but Insertion 1 was far more innovative when it was released, because no 
other map had ever been done like this before, so I'll put insertion 1 on gold tier and insertion 2 on great. Even though this one deserves like great plus at least. After that we've got iris. This one is also queuable still today just like climb, however this one I want to play. This one is pretty decent, um, I think it's B site with heaven, that's very fun position to play, I'm not gonna lie. However middle is just far too fucking chaotic to be a constructive uh, competitive map. After we've got Italy, very nice map however not playable for many many years sadly. I'd give this one, I'd say it's good, I'd stretch from decent to say that it's good. Once again hostage maps are a bit hard to get the top scores because it's a little weirder way to play CS. Still though Italy I'd say is a good map. Next up we've got library. This is a very weird map. Most of you guys probably haven't heard of it. It was released in I think Operation Payback or Operation Bravo, one of the two. So either way it's very old. Probably older than you. This map was chaos. Very you can see here if I zoom in. This whole room was just library, just shell bookshelves and very claustrophobic. The only only redeeming factor is that it was made by the same guy, Oskmus, who made Insertion. I'd put this one at bad. I'm sorry, Oskmus. Please make another Insertion. Next up, Light. Only used this one for uh, the Guardian missions. Didn't play it because I didn't like it. Simple as. After this, Log. Many people hated this map. I fucking loved it. This is a good map in my opinion. The Long on the left side of the map, absolutely insane. Then you had the big rocks towards the right side of the map. I just very memorable map. I love this one. After this one, we got Marquis. This one reminds me a little bit too much of the cold map. Pretty sure I didn't like it. I can't even remember this one too much, to be honest. After this, Mikla. Also one of these very dull maps that I don't really remember because I didn't play it that much because I didn't like it. Next one, Militia. This is a... I want to put it at great, but I'm just gonna say it's a good plus. This map was very nice back in the day. If they remake it and like, you know, make it look 2022 standard, it might get great. I just really remember that I love this map and playing a T on this map was very fun. Next one, Mirage. Many people hate it. I don't know why. In my opinion, this is one of my go-to maps. Absolute gold tier map. I love playing it. I love watching pro games on it and I never not have fun on it. After that, we've got Mist. This map was was decent. It was very high up, so I remember you died from fall damage quite a lot, and the map itself was pretty decent. I just love the, the setting that it was far up, it was foggy, it was kind of eerie. It was nice. Next one, Mokka. Many people are gonna be like, huh, I, I played that once. It was decent. For me, this was a fucking great map. I loved Mokka, the middle double peak that you could do, the B site and the A site. It was all so good. I played this map in the span it was out out probably more than most of the other maps that were out at the time. After that, Motel. Many of you guys won't remember this one. This was definitely in Operation Alpha, Operation Payback, the first one. Operation Payback and Operation Phoenix, so it was in both of them. I remember I played it heavily in both of those operations. Motel was a very good map in my opinion. I'd put it good, but like, I, I want to give it good plus. Next, we've got Museum. Interesting map, not the best one, just decent. I remember I took a lot of screenshots of skins on this map though, because it looked visually very nice. Next one, Mutiny. Didn't play it too much because I didn't like it, but uh, I'd give it bad plus or like decent and minus only because of the pirate ship in T-Spawn. It was very interesting. Look at me. I am the captain now. <laughs> Next up, Nuke. This map, I play it weirdly. I don't play it like a regular CS map where I maybe try hard and shoot head and go defuse the bomb. No, this map, I always just edge bug and try to hit headshots because that's what you do on Nuke. I'd give it good, not great, but it's very fun to play. But more likely than not, when you play with me, we're gonna lose because I only troll and have fun on this map. Next one, Office. I'd put this one on decent only because the cheat 
cheaters. Otherwise, I think I'd put it as good. It's a good map. It's just all the cheaters ruin it. It's basically unplayable in the current state. Next one, Overgrown. Didn't play it too much competitively. Basically only played it deathmatch. And from what I remember, it was just eh. It was kind of neutral. I didn't really like it. So I'll put it bad. After that, we've got Overpass. Now, this is a good map. Don't want to put it at great. Because I, I don't think it's great personally. But it's a very classic standard map. Yeah, it's just good. Next one, Rails. It's bad. After that, Resort. I played this a lot when it was released. It's a pretty old map. I'll put it at... Yeah, I'll put it at great. Uh, I remember playing the right side of this map was the most fun, which you can see here on the screenshot going here and behind the wall here. Very fun. After that, Royal. Sorry, it's bad. Next up, Ruby. It's decent. And uh, I remember me and Hikes played it when it was released. Pretty decent. Next up, Ruins. It's bad. After that, Rush. This uh, this water uh, swamp field. Many of you guys might not remember because it's a pretty old map. A little bit better than bad, but it wasn't decent. So I'll put it bad. Next up, Santorini. Great map. Please, Valve, bring back Santorini and Cobble. Please, man. And maybe insertion while you're out. It actually. I have syphilis. After this, Seaside. Oh my god. This is borderline god tier, but I'll put it great. This is such a good map. I remember in Bravo Operation, this was basically the only map that I played. Me and my friends played it. I have some super, super old clips on my old, old, old PC of us playing Seaside. Me, Victor Carlson, I think Alex, just a bunch of us friends. This is one of the maps that really made me fall in love with Seaside in Operation Bravo. After this, we've got Season. This is a good map. You can't say otherwise. Um, I don't think it's great, but it's good. They should have added some more colors. I don't like the fact that almost the whole map is just white. After this, we've got Shipped. Pretty sure uh, I played Shipped or Hikes was playing Shipped when he got his Dragon Lore as his in-game drop. Uh, it wasn't crazy to play, it was just decent, but that's the memory I have from Shipped. After this, we've got Siege. I'll put it decent, because uh, it was decent to play, but it's my favorite screenshot map and like skin inspecting map to play now. And many people ask me like, uh, what's, oh, what's this map where you do screenshots of your skin? It's probably Siege. Next up, Studio. Not a good map. I'm sorry, I'll put it bad. After this, we've got Sub-Zero. The map itself is pretty good. I'd set it at a 7 out of 10. But the fact that it has custom player models, which is a huge thing, I put it as great. Not sure how it works nowadays when you got uh, custom player skins, player models. I'm not sure if you had that back when this was released. But Sub-Zero with the, the custom player models, absolutely insane. After this, we've got Swamp. It's a bad map. Next up, we've got Thrill. Also a bad map. Then we've got Thunder. This is a super old map. Pretty sure they brought it back for uh, an operation after, like, Operation Payback. But it's decent. Not crazy. Then we've got Train. In my opinion, this is a good map. Not great. Not decent. But good. I have fun while playing on it. I much prefer the old version, though. With CT Heaven. Ooh. Sadly, they removed it. After that, we got Tulip. Your two lips on my dick. <laughs> this was a very good map. I'm set in Amsterdam. I'd put it good plus, but since we don't have that many great maps, I'll just put it on great. Next up, Vertigo. I am terribly sorry, Unipixel. I fucking hate Vertigo. Where are the steps coming from? I don't know, because there's 17 fucking levels on this skyscraper. Oh, are they under me? Are they above me? There, there, there? No idea! Ha 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 I fucking hate Vertigo. I'm terribly sorry. In reality, I'd probably put this one as bad, not trash, but ugh, I just don't like it. After that, we got Workout. Haha, <laughs> that's funny, because I'm fat. Uh, workout, however, was a pretty decent map. I like the gym area, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, this was a good map. And finally, ending on Z, we've got Zoo. This map is very fun. I remember I used to have so much fun playing this one with my friends. For example, Rad. He was always excited to play this because he got to see his family, which are in the zoo. This is a great map. Please bring it back. Actually, don't please bring it back. But if you bring it back, then I'd be very happy. But please bring Cobblestone back. So, there we go. This might need some refining. For example, now in hindsight, climb, I'd probably put it as trash as well.
Grind, I would probably put as don't wanna play. Rush, I would probably put as decent. But basically, this is the general gist of uh, what I think about the CSGO maps. Every single CSGO map ever released, all operations, all playtime, fucking 10 years of CSGO, 75 maps, this is the list. I added a link in the description as well if you want to make your own list. And thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think about my list. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something right? And please, if there are any maps here that you don't remember, for example, Motel or Library, then please leave a comment and tell me what year you started playing because I'm a super boomer. I've played CS since the beta. So thank you guys for watching. That was very fun. I hope my autistic neighbors who are drinking the wall didn't ruin the video and thank you guys for watching <laughs> ah! Ah!